Maxi, today is a special day. You know why? What? Because Mama decided to do something different today. Because I was thinking, I'm almost 30 now. It's time to experiment a little bit, you know? You know? I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna look a little different. And I hope you'll recognize me. And I hope you love it. You have nothing to say? Maybe a good luck? Something, no? Hello? Man. Don't change the subject. Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't think I'll notice a difference. I feel like you're taking this very lightly. Have you told everybody what you're doing yet or nobody yes, knows? Yes, of course. I spoke. I had a whole discussion with Maxi this morning. Go on blonde. That's it. Bye. Right. Well, I'll see you later. Have fun. Love you. God bless. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> Who's the best blonde man in town? Yay! <laughs> when we started this and I told him that that's what I heard, he was very humble and he said, mm, which made me worry. Are you still worried? No, I feel like I gave you enough tricky questions that you answered correctly. So, we're gonna make it look really pretty. Here's a challenge for you. Just like enhance what you got. I like that. My mother called me when we started doing it and she's like, what are these things on your head? I said, I'm coloring my hair. She's like... She freaked out. What'd she say? She started cursing. <laughs> Sorry, Ma. Oh, that's blonde. <laughs> you panicking yet? Yes, but I'm smiling panicking. It's it. better <laughs> than crying panicking. Thousands of tears later. I'm blonde. Thank you, master. Okay. We colored our, oh, it's so blonde. And my hair looks longer for some reason. Maybe because there's more like color to it now. I'm really excited that I did this. I feel like it gave me like a wave of energy. And now I'm gonna go get my, <laughs> I'm gonna get my ears pierced. <laughs> I wanted to do my third piercing for a while and I just like couldn't find time. And one of the spots that was recommended is right nearby so we're just gonna stop by there if you're thinking to yourself wow you're having a quarter life crisis i am not i assure you it's just today is the only day where i could schedule all these things in but i have to say yeah it does look like something's happening in my life what color is my hair um like a dirty blonde and why is that Good answer. did i pass the test yes yes Told you, Jade. <laughs> awesome. And just like that, we have a third lobe in there. I'm a cool mom. <laughs> there are no rules in this house. I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. <laughs> right, Regina? Please stop talking. Okay. Dirty blonde, check. A third piercing, check. I think I need to go back home now to my children. Enough. Okay, new day. Just came back from my workout. Oh my God, it helps just for my mental health, the workout. Today is an exciting day because we are gonna go check out the studio, which is like I mentioned before, our condo that we used to live in. We decided to convert it to a studio space, a creative space. I'm so excited to show you a tour of it and kind of tell you about my direction there, like just visually and decoration wise. It's gonna be really cool. Before that, I have to wash my hair. I have to say I've been really loving this change in my hair. I'm excited for this new transformation, but if there's one thing that I've learned is that my hair does need moisture. I feel like when you have color in your hair, it obviously dries out the hair a little bit more. So it's really important to make sure that I give it as much love and hydration as possible. So first I wanted to say a huge thank you to L'Oreal Paris for sponsoring this portion of the video. What I'm doing these days is using my shampoo, but then using this product. It's a new product by L'Oreal. It's called Eight Second Wonder Water. You heard me right, Wonder Water. And it's basically a conditioner and a mask all in one. And you don't have to leave it for a long time. Literally like eight seconds and bam, you get the benefit of all that moisture. So it has these like moisture molecules in it that basically like stays on your hair once you wash it out it leaves it silky and radiant which is a 
amazing and this works for all hair types it has like direction if you have like fine hair to medium hair or thick to curly hair because I am gonna do a blow dry after I do want to make sure that my hair is really moisturized so let's get all of this into order So for me, the one, the water covers the conditioner part, but if you still feel that your hair needs the conditioner, you can do it after the water. It also helps with the tangling a lot. So I didn't use another conditioner on top of it because it feels really, really soft. And this product you can use up to two to three times a week, depends on how much moisture you need. I used to usually follow up with some hair oil, but honestly, I feel like I don't really need to. Now, with the hair, I tried to not comb it while it's so so wet or if I do need to because realistically I don't have a lot of time to wait I'm going to start combing it from the bottom of my hair just to make sure that I don't pull and rip my hair off let me know if you guys want an updated hair care routine I haven't done that in a while. After I do this, I'll put my makeup on and only then I'll do the blow dry. I like to apply as least heat as possible on my hair. So I like to kind of wait until it's 50% air dry and then I'll blow dry. gonna apply this heat protective primer it's also from L'Oreal just to make sure that I'm not gonna damage my hair and now that it's I would say 45% dry I'm ready to go in with blow dryer I'm just gonna curl the ends and then I'll be good to go the hair feels really soft I must say My absolute favorite last touch is this Orbit Dry Texturizing Spray. Okay, ready. Okay, we're back to this magical place. I showed you like a little snippet of it because I wanted to do a full on room tour i'm gonna start with the bedroom we've been honestly looking everywhere for a proper like studio space a creative space i obviously don't want something too like generic or something that just feels cold and uninspiring we've had this condo since gary and i got engaged we moved here we used to live here and we actually had jakey here we moved away to the suburbs three months after we had jake because i was like i need my mom i was so overwhelmed i was like 22 23 when i had jake so i just didn't know how to do anything that's kind of the story why we left this amazing amazing space now we're here we decided that instead of looking for spaces and then investing in that space we might as well use our space and make it you know what we want to make it I walked through prior and I have an idea of what I want to do with every room but I'm also kind of nervous because as you guys know I'm not very good with interior design with decor it's completely not my thing now that I had a little taste of decorating the house and I literally just did two rooms with Vera interiors who was amazing and now I can't I, I can't I don't have time I don't have the patience I don't have the vision I did a little bit of digging and through Stacy Cohen design I found a platform that's called the room edit it's an interior design firm basically helping you to decorate but like charging you a fraction of the price and also doesn't require you to do much really. I wanted to kind of learn more about the platform and I reached out to Stacy. She's been super nice and she wanted to kind of explain to me more about the process. The reason why I'm looking for something like that is A, I'm on a tight budget. B, I need like a super fast turnaround and I think it takes like two weeks for them to do everything, which is insane. And then I don't have the time to like run around, look for furniture and they do 
all of that for you like they curate the furniture based on the measurements and everything and that's how the inspo comes together and I'm really excited to learn more about it and to show you guys because it sounds like something that a lot of people will benefit from especially me so let me show you the condo this is where I think we're gonna do like a master bedroom and just also we want to see if we can use it you know Gary and I and the family on the weekends or something so I do want to make sure that it's gonna be kind of a warm homey space with a bed this was our closet we shared a closet you guys I don't even know how we did that. Gary has much more shoes these days. This is the master bathroom. I did this mosaic design, which we obviously have to take down. I am still loving the marble and all these details because I feel like even for content, for flat lace, for Leia, this is gonna be so amazing and it's really useful for us. Definitely changing these type of things. So it's gonna be different. Then we have the hallway we have a washing machine we have this toilet for people then this was Jakey's room was this closet I still remember like his little baby clothes hanging I remember with Jake breastfeeding was so so difficult for me after like so long I finally filled up like a full bottle of breast milk and I felt so like accomplished when it's a struggle breastfeeding it's like it takes everything out of you so I was on the bed sitting pumping and the bottle was on the bed on the mattress and then it spilled and literally everything that I pumped for the last like four hours just spilled on the mattress and I can't tell you how much I cried so this is one I remember from this room but I also remember just bringing Jakey here his first bath was here in this sink he was literally this size like Gary was holding him with one hand I remember that so vividly this was our family living room look at all these windows like the view and just the amount of light is absolutely amazing that's definitely something I miss so much this is also my creation God bless my soul and I'm planning like to take all of this down. We had like a huge sofa. Actually, the sofa that we have now at the house was our couch here. It was so cute. Oh my God, guys, actually look, there's still like marks of the couch or is it dirt? I don't know. Anyways, all I know is that this is where my water broke with Jake. Water everywhere. I literally got up from the couch and my water broke and I called Gary. He was at work and his office was like half an hour away. I went downstairs with like my trail of baby water and <laughs> I got a taxi to take me to the hospital and I had to like literally convince him to take me because there was water everywhere and he's like oh no 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 that was my birth story this was our office I remember we had a huge mahogany table here which no one used and then we have this kitchen that I will be putting to such good use with some smoothie content and recipe content which is really exciting I I remember the thing that like I love the most about this condo is this beautiful marble. This is the whole condo. I feel really, really grateful and very blessed to have the opportunity to come back here and make it our creative space. And I'm so happy that I get the chance to take you with me to do the whole decor design situation. And this is going to be our new home, our new home. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you want to see me spinning out of control and get ready with me for a photo shoot, 